Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. I'm Nick. I'm Ian. Today we're talking about some great albums we'd love to see reissued in 2024. There's a bunch of links down below. Make sure you check them out. There's links for the Vinyl Den Facebook group, for the merch page, for the Spotify and Apple Music playlist that we put together every week, and the Patreon page. So make sure you go check all that out. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give us the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we release new episodes. So every year there's a ton of really great albums that get reissued. We're going to go over some of the ones we'd love to see. I don't think any of these necessarily are 100% going to get reissued this year, but uh, just some ones I'd love to see happen. I know the first one I've got is one that I know a lot of people have been asking for for several years, and that is Alice in Chains Unplugged. Uh, this was a music on vinyl release. I don't remember what year this was that this came out. Oh, 2010 is what the copyright is in the back of it. It's, I know it's long overdue for a repress. You know, if you want to, if you want a, an original pressing of this or the, whatever the last music on vinyl reissue was, you know, it goes for several hundred dollars. It's a great album, of course. In my opinion, I think it's the best thing that Alice in Chains ever did. Um, you know, I know probably not a very popular opinion out there, but uh, you know, I just love the the this unplugged performance really showed the musicianship that Allison Chains had and how great of a, of a lead singer Lean Staley really was. So the first one I have is uh, When I Woke by Rusted Root. Um, I was just asking Nick, I don't, this has never been released on vinyl. I don't think it has been. So it needs to be released on vinyl. Uh, I think Rusted Root's a band that lends itself to vinyl very well. It's just kind of that kind of hippie-ish kind of music. I would also like their second album, uh, remember to be released on vinyl because it's actually my favorite Which of I agree. I think it's probably a better album than yeah. When I Woke, but I think When I Woke it's probably a little more accessible musically. That's why... That's hard to say because I think the... I think it's why... I mean, that was the more, pop, the more, more popular, popular album. More popular album, yeah. Well, Send Me On My Way was the big hit on this and that's... Uh, I believe they're doing... They're using that song in Nature Valley commercials now. Yeah. Nature Valley, <laughs> like, granola bars yeah. now. So, but yeah, this definitely needs to be released on re-released or reissued in some way form or, or another an album i really thought we were going to get a reissue of last year because it was a, its 30th anniversary is live and loud by ozzy osbourne of course this was available as part of the big ozzy box set that came out what 2019 when that came out mm, i think so yeah yeah i think it was 2019 but it hasn't been available outside of that box set in a very very long time so my thing is with this with, with this album what I would love to see them do, because it's a four LP release, I would love to see them do, it doesn't have to be a big box set, just like a one inch thick box set for this album, but have it with the metal grate that's on the CD. I think that'd be a really cool box set to do for it. You know, they could, spend, they could charge a little bit more. You know, you figure the, the, uh, the live Van Halen album, that was a four LP release mm -hmm. for Record Store Day. That was a hundred bucks. And same, it came out the same year, I think. Too. Yeah, and it, and it sold out pretty quick. You know, it goes for even more money than that. Now, I, I know the uh, Van Halen album is getting reissued here in the, over the next uh, month right. or so. But, you know, I think they could do something similar with this album. And it'd be a fantastic release. I know it's a it's a great live album. It's one of my favorite live albums of all time. I don't know. A lot of people have been looking for it for a long time. Yeah. I think the only the only thing that might be holding it back is there's a lot of Ozzy stuff needs to be reissued as individual things. And Live and Loud might be lower on the list. Well, you figure they just did Bark at the Moon. They just did Bark at the Moon. And that was the first time, you know, it's been reissued. In a long time. Uh, since the 80s. Yeah. I think 87 or 88 was the last time Bark at the Moon mm -hmm. had been reissued. So they're slowly getting there. But right. uh, maybe, like I said, with the 30th anniversary being last year, I really thought we might see something last year for this. So hopefully this year. So my next one, we've talked about this being reissued every year. I think that yes. we've been doing this. And that's uh, four by Blues Traveler. This is a... A bootleg that Nick has. Yeah. Um, sounds great. I say, yeah, I'm but. sure it sounds okay. I don't like the label. Yeah. Um, but hey, I will say that even for an unofficial pressing, this was not cheap. I want to say, I think I paid like sixty dollars or more for this bootleg. Uh, but Ian, you're, Ian's right. It, this absolutely needs to get reissued. It's the 30th anniversary this year. You know, it it really it. If you're going to do it, now is the time to do it, even though we've been asking for it for years. Uh, but if you're going to do it, do it now. Yeah. You know. The thing I don't understand is Blues Traveler has reissued, I think, most of the rest of their catalog. No, just their first three albums. I know, but, like, well, that's what I was getting to. was like yeah. everything before this album has been reissued, but not this one. Correct. So I don't know if there's like 
some kind of licensing issue with this. Which doesn't make or... any sense. The same same record label as their first three. Actually, it's the same record label they're on for their first five. Um, I can't imagine why there's anything special about this album that separates it from those others in terms of yeah. legal things. Yeah. Um, all the band members that played on this are still technically in the band that are alive. So I, I don't know. I yeah, don't really I don't know, know what, the, hold up what the hold up is. For whatever reason, it's not out yet, and it just needs to be out. Yeah. I'm sure my next pick is going to be met with a lot of eye rolls out there. <laughs> this Because Ian kind of thought the same thing when I said this. But I would love to see Enemy of the State by, by Blink-182 get reissued. Celebrating its 25th anniversary this year, I would love to see a big box set get released. They could, there is unreleased material from this album. They could pair with it. They could pair the Mark, Tom, and Travis show, which was a live album that came out in 2000. They could pair that with this. I think they could do a nice package, nice release for it. I think it would be a cool one to, to see come out. For me, it's if you can bring something new to it, then yeah, obviously if it's already been released, I don't need it. This album, if you're bringing something new to yeah. it, some unreleased stuff, yeah, if you can make a nice package out of it, there's no reason. Yeah, because this album has been reissued like every single year for the last 15 years. But yeah. so if they could do something, and he has new every with copy it. of it. No, I so. don't. I, I, I don't. I, I think I've got I think four copies of it. But still, that's a lot. I'd like to see them do something new with it. Yeah. So my next one, everyone who watches this channel knows I. Counting Crows is probably one of my it's my second favorite band of all time. Uh, but This Desert Life came out in 1999. It was originally released on vinyl, but it goes for like a fortune right now because uh, they only did an early pressing on this it. This is another one. That's my boot. It's a, yeah, this is an unofficial pressing. Again, I don't like the label. I mean, I don't care. The sound quality I can't attest to, but. It does sound good. It's And I don't like the white either, but they need to reissue this. It's It's. Maybe it's not as popular as their August and Everything After, which is their big hit, but there's some hits on this album that were, you know, got radio play. Yeah. Colorblind is on this. That was in the that um, Cruel Intentions movie with uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar and all that. Yeah. So I don't really see a reason why County Crows can't reissue this. It's, it's an album where it sold enough copies to warrant it being reissued on vinyl. And it's, a, it's the 25th anniversary this year of it. So it came out in 99. So, again, there's no real, real reason not to do it, yeah. I would think. Yeah. The next one I don't have a physical copy of. I, I might have it on CD, but I definitely don't have it on vinyl. Uh, it, it goes for quite a bit of money, the, the last reissue they had of it. But it is Young Modern by Silverchair. I know it's the, it's the last album that Silverchair ever released. It's very different than anything else they've done early in their career. Silverchair, especially the last couple of albums, definitely got more a lot more experimental. And, you know, I'm not really sure. I, I, it was met with a lot of uh, really mixed reviews. Fans weren't really big fans of it. But, you know, it still sold pretty well. It's the only album of theirs that hasn't been reissued over the last couple of years. I know Music on Vinyl has done all the other reissues. I'm kind of surprised they haven't done Young Modern yet, but uh, you know it's definitely one. Like I said, I'd love to see it get released because I'd have love to have a, a physical copy of it. Wasn't there something I read? I I may be imagining it, but I thought I read something about Silverchair doing some kind of a like a studio album box set soon. No, nothing that I've seen. Hmm. I know I know Music on Vinyl did all of their other albums and sold it like together as a package. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Maybe that of. might be what you're thinking that's of. Yeah. Like, I don't but it know. It didn't have this album. It didn't have young modern in it. Like I said, that was the one that was excluded from it. So I don't know. The, and the other thing that music on vinyl did was they took all of the singles off of the other silver chair albums and released those individually on 12 inch singles also. So it was hmm. a huge, big package. The music on vinyl did, but yeah, the young modern was the only album of silver chairs. They excluded from all that. So my next one is one we don't have physical copies of. It was originally released on vinyl in 2011. Uh, it's Alice Cooper's Welcome to My Nightmare 2. And then now, again, it goes for a, a fortune uh, on The last Gogs time I saw it, it was like two, over 200 bucks. Yeah, and it's um, Alice has reissued all of his albums or had uh, there's uh, inexpensive copies of his albums except for this one. And Along Came a Spider. I don't know why. Um, Along Came a Spider is probably not even his best album ever. Like, it's probably at the bottom of the list for me. But Welcome to My Nightmare 2 is a great album, and it really, I think it stand, it's due for a good reissue. Yeah. Um, at the very least, just, you know, when you are when you see these albums on Discogs for 200 bucks, the artist is not getting any money. And if the people are willing to spend 200 bucks on it, if you reissue it, 
and sell it for, you know, today's... 40, 45. Yeah, today's going rate. When it came out, it was 35. Yeah. And that was back in 2000, well, when I saw it. In the was stores. it a two, one LP or it was two LP? It two, uh, two LP. So still, it would be 40 or 42 bucks, right. something like that. Um, but there's no reason the artist can't justify doing that if people are willing to spend that kind of money for these even albums. if you do like a 25 or maybe three thousand count run i mean mm-hmm. uh, even like a smaller release that would be fine uh right. just because there are it, it, it is you're right it's not a hugely popular alice cooper album but there's enough people out there that want a copy of it that they can make a right. profit uh, oh re- yeah absolutely re-issuing. and i mean alice has proven time and again that he, he has selling power yeah um so I, I just thought it's it's weird to me that it hasn't been reissued in in recent years, yeah. but hopefully this year. So for my last album, I can say without a doubt, I know there is a reissue coming of this. It's been in the works for at least five years, and they're waiting for, at least from the interview I heard, they're waiting for the band to give the okay to finally release it. But that is Anima by Tool. The, I'm not a big Tool fan. I've always loved this album, though. This is my favorite album by the band. I saw, I think it was in 2019, there was an interview with uh, one of the people that, that does all the artwork for their vinyl releases. Said that all the packaging, all the artwork for the reissue had been done and approved. They're waiting on Maynard, is, is what they said, to give the okay to reissue it. It's been long out of print. This is a, a bootleg copy that I've got. It does sound good, but I'd love to have an official pressing of it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of people out there that, are, you know, are in the same boat. Because if you go f- to, to find one of these bootlegs online, you're still going to spend, you know, 60 plus dollars for right. it m- most of the time. And it's so weird to me because, I mean, I get it if you're an artist. An, an artist, it's not about the money. But it is about the money because that's what allows you to continue to be an artist and not have to get a day job. Yeah. So it's, it, it's easy money. Just sign off on it. I mean... If everything's ready to go, just do it. Yeah. So my last one is is as you if you've watched this channel, my favorite band is Jethro Tull, and it's Roots to Branches. I this is want my a original. Copy. This is my original pressing. This is an original pressing that Nick paid what 160 for. Yeah, I think it's like 140 bucks. Yeah. I, I got it for I, a good deal. It's been a long time since I looked, but I've looked since you know re- more recently than after he bought this, and it was like four something. The last time I looked on Discogs, I think it was a little over 300 bucks. That was selling for it. Yeah, three hundred bucks. I'm not as even for Jethro Tull. I'm not paying three hundred bucks for one album. And I will say that I got a deal on this. I think because there is a Made in England sticker on the front of it. So I that's think actually on the that's actually on the jacket. Okay. And I wasn't gonna go heat it up and try to remove it. No, so it's. It, I think it's, I think it's why I paid uh, a little less a, for a little it. less for it. Um, the thing is, is that Tull has been doing these 40th anniversary box sets. And they haven't done reissues of anything other than what's been in the box sets or the box sets. If they do that for this, we've got 11 more years before this can be released on vinyl. Yeah. And it, it doesn't make sense to wait that long. EMI, you know, could put it out. It'll sell. Tall stuff sells pretty well. Well, that's all we got for you today, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. Make sure you drop us a comment down below. Love to know what you guys think. What do you think would be some great reissues this year is a bunch of celebrating uh, anniversary releases. There's a bunch of other stuff like the Tool album. I would just love to see get reissued. The uh, Alice in Chains uh, self-titled album is another one I'd love to see. Love to see Speak of the Devil by Ozzy get reissued. Uh, those are a couple of albums that uh, I've long had on my want list. But let us know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to see a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And that's all we got. Until next time. Talk to y'all later. Keep on spinning. Peace.